hey, um, I'm writing a story. I'm going to have you practice a couple of voices with me for like, you know, different characters. So for the first one, I'm thinking we're going to have like a majestic lion. He's kind of like an old king in his den. Um, and I want you to see something like who goes there. Uh, be the lion. I really want you to like embody what that might feel like. Oh, who goes there? Okay, that that's, that's pretty good. Um, now I want to add a second character, maybe a mouse that snuck into the cave. Uh, the mouse could say something like, oh, it's no one. Oh, it's it's no one. How's mm, that for a little? That's not bad. Uh, can you make it a little squeakier, more like tiny, more like mouse-like? Oh, it's no one. That's, How's that? That's pretty good. Okay, uh, let's toss in an owl. Uh, make the owl sound like wise, a little bit stoic. Um, and the owl could kind of be like an advisor to a lion or something. Who dares enter the king's den? Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, now let's think about what the villain might be. I don't know what animal would work best, but let's start with like some kind of laughter. Give me like a nice, evil, maniacal laugh. <laughs> Not How's bad. Too, too squeaky. Make it more like deep and kind of manic, I guess. Do you think you can do that? Okay, yeah, that's a little that's a little creepy. Um, what animal do you think would work best uh, for this character? Mm, for a villain with that kind of laugh, maybe a slithery snake or a cunning fox. All right, say say something the fox would say. I guess. Earl King, your reign ends tonight. That's How's pretty good. That? How about you say that with the laughter at the end? Let's see what that feels like. <laughs> King, your reign ends tonight. That's pretty good. <laughs> Thanks. Great.